everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? What is going on? Can you believe it? I've changed the colours up on my face. It's I feel like a new person. Isn't this so weird? I'm like, what? <laughs> I feel like the classic YouTube me is back and I love that. I'm literally so excited. So how have you guys been? This is my first week of uploading four videos this week. I've also got another one coming on Saturday and Sunday. On Saturday I filmed how I got my hair like this. So if you're wondering on how I did get my hair like this, then check out Saturday's video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button, then you'll be notified every single time I upload a video. Although it is Monday, Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday, all at 6pm. But it is a lot of videos and like me, I'm forgetful. So make sure you hit the bell so you are notified on every time I upload. Make sure as well you follow me on Instagram, it means so, so much to me and... I'm trying to like improve my Instagram game up as well. So we're getting there. So if you did want to see how to get this blue, smoky, wintry makeup look, then just keep watching. Oh my God, look at my bun. It's like the biggest bun ever. So if you've watched my channel before, you guys will know that I always do my hair first because I like the curls to just stay there before I brush it out. However, one, my hair was annoying me, so I wanted to get it out my face. And two, I thought, you know what? So many of you ask me how I curl my hair, and I have got tape and hair extensions, but this works with either or, long, short extensions, non-extensions hair. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do my makeup, then I'll film a video, which is gonna go up day after this one, and then day after? No, a couple of days after. Sorry, I'm scheduling on my video, so I'm like, what day is that going up? So then I thought I would do a dedicated one. I did film on Vlogmas me doing my hair, but it was sort of a vlog as well. So I feel like if I just do a dedicated one on how I curl my hair, then you guys might like that. I mean, you don't have to watch it, but I thought just in case. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm wearing green dress. So ever since I done my New Year's Eve makeup look, I use the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe. And ever since, these colours at the bottom have been screaming at me. And I really, really, really want to do like a green makeup look. And I'm so excited about it. I can't wait. So, the first thing I like to do is moisturise. If you guys have watched my channel for ages, you know that this moisturise from Olay is my favourite. It's so, so cheap. It's about £4. You can get it in your supermarket, drugstore, wherever. So good. However, if you've watched my last video, <laughs> you would know that I've had a rash. And if you can see it here as well. It's like worse here, but it was on my face as well. Luckily, my face has gone down. It's still a bit red. So the moisturiser I'm going to use is this one that the pharmacy gave me. It's for fungal infections. <laughs> Lovely. But I don't want to prevent it. Like, I don't know. I want to prevent it from coming. So I'm just going to pop this all over my face. So moisturiser is now done. For brows, I'm gonna use precisely my brow, of course, because I never change. I don't think I ever will until I find one better, but I just love the whole concept of the spoolie on one end, which is the brush, and then the actual product on the other. And the color is perfect for my brow, so I literally love it. And I'm just gonna fill them in. I'm really not very good at doing my brows. So for someone who's been doing makeup for a long time, brows are like my worst thing to do. They're the best thing to look at after, but they're the worst, it takes me forever. So until I nail a tutorial that doesn't take me long, I'm not gonna film like a dedicated one until I know. The reason I do my brows first is I mess so many things up, I have to like wipe it. And then it used to go on my foundation and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do it first. Brows are done. I think, although this one has got a mind of its own today. Okay, I kind of give up with my brows. So I have just carved them out with some foundation. You can use any foundation or concealer, it's completely up to you. And then I'm gonna set my brows in place with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. You guys know that this combo is the best for me, personally. I love it. This will not move your brows at all. So the next step I am going to do is apply some foundation. I like to mix these two at the moment, but you can use one of each. I just like the colour because as you can see, the colours are quite different and the coverage, they just work for me. So this is the YSL Tissue Clat in the shade B50. And this is the L'Oreal Infallible in the shade Golden Beige. 
And then I'm just going to get a regular foundation brush and just spread this evenly onto my skin. Can you hear my washing machine? <laughs> I'm sorry if you can. I know I say this in every video, but you've got to do your washing. So I'm just going to push that into my skin with a damp beauty blender. You guys know I dump my beauty blender with a makeup wipe because I can't be bothered to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Lazy like that, but it works exactly the same for me, so I don't want to go that far. So, when you pushed the foundation into your skin, I'm going to use this little brush. I love this from the kit. It's probably one of my favourite brushes because... Can you see it's so uneven? This brush, look, just blends it all in. So good. Don't forget your neck when you do foundation. I feel like that's so crucial. Loads of people forget it, but you want everything to just blend in. So, for concealer, you guys know my two faves at the moment are these two. I'm quite the same old with my base makeup. As soon as I like something, I'll just keep it. Um, I am going to contour today, cream contour as well, which I'm really excited about, but I'm using the YSL Touche Eclat in 5.5. I love this for the coverage, you just click and you do this, but the colour isn't as bright as I wanted. I was getting it online, so I had to guess my colour and then I was like, Ugh. So when you blend it in, it oxidises a bit, which means the more oxygen gets to it, the more darker it gets, basically. So I use that first, and then I'll use my Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline in the shade 20, just on top like this. Can you see? And that's obviously just going to brighten. I'll just apply that here. I won't do a proper triangle with this one because I want to push the product in. So you're going to get your damp beauty blender again, and then you're going to blend from the outside pushing in and it's just going to cover up any circles you have i am a quarter indian so my bags get quite bad <laughs> especially when i haven't had enough sleep or i just do you know when it's just one of those days and especially in winter oh my god they look absolutely dreadful in winter so annoying but good job for makeup because i can cover them up i've noticed today though so this side of my skin when i had the rash was so much worse it was just awful so i've seen noticed today that this side looks worse now it's just not going i don't know what i could be allergic to i really don't it's i feel like it is an allergic reaction like an allergy but i'm not sure what to my sister was like is it your heating but it's not because my flat I turn the heating off in this room, in the bathroom, and our bedroom's always got the window open because I'm the type of person that when I sleep, I like the cold air, but like a bit of blanket. Um, I haven't changed any powders in my washing. We change our bed sheets like every week. And I'm just like, what is it? I don't get it. I don't know what I'm allergic to. And I haven't changed my makeup. Maybe that's why, because it's like old now and I haven't changed it. <laughs> so it's gross. Um, anyway, enough of me boring you about my skin. I just thought if any of you had any of you have any advice, it'd be great if you could leave it down below. Because you guys help me a lot. And I'm just like, <laughs> it's just annoying. So for my contour, I'm going to contour my nose. Don't know how well this is going to go. We can like try this together. I'm going to use the Hoola Quick Contour Stick from Benefit. A lot of my products are from Benefit, but I love this brand. And I'm just going to contour. I keep watching makeup tutorials at the moment, and it looks so easy. So I'm going to try it myself. Oh, is that what it's meant to look like? I don't know. You guys know I'm so bad at this. Do this bit. Let's contour my lips. Ooh, I'm not going to do my cheeks because I don't want to irritate my rash. And I'll just bronze my forehead up with some powder bronzer. Do I use a brush for this? Oh, I'm rubbish. Oh, look at this beauty blender. How weird is that? I might try. Oh, I think you're meant to put concealer down the sides too. I was watching Carly Bible do it. Bible? She does it like this. Oh my god, it looks like I've had a nose job already. And then what I'm going to do is get a beauty blender and just blend in this. Mm. 
I can't tell. I feel like it hasn't. Maybe I'll contour the powder at the end. What do you guys think? Has it made a difference? If anything, it's made it bigger. <laughs> oh, see, I'm literally the worst. Why am I so bad at this? This is when I question myself why I have a YouTube channel to do makeup because I'm like, I can't even contour my nose. But I guess I can't do any everything. Anyway, let's move on to powder. To powder under my eyes, I'm gonna contour in the middle of my nose and down my nose. I'm getting good at this. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade 120 and a little mini beauty blender. It's so cute. <laughs> And I'm just gonna roll the product. I think this powder is really old, by the way. Probably out of date, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna push up. I feel like this powder really helps. Let's just hope. It rubs off all right. That does make my nose look smaller, so maybe we're getting somewhere. Maybe I might actually be able to contour my nose. I'm gonna try it at the pointy end. That's working. While this is doing its thing, I'm gonna use another, it's like a foundation powder, it's from Benefit. It's the Hello Flawless, I use the shade Beige. Gonna use this brush, it's so good. And I'm just gonna push it into my skin, especially because my skin's a bit problemed at the moment. It's just got a world of its own. World of its own, mind of its own, whatever. I'm just gonna push the product in. I feel like this helps cover a lot better, but it's not gonna irritate my skin. And I would do exactly the same if I had spots. You don't wanna spread it because if you accidentally pop them, that's gross. Um, or you just don't want to irritate them, so I would just dot, 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 dot it on. Dot it on. And then I'm just going to do it on my eyelids as well. This is also going to act as a base for my makeup too when I do the eyeshadow. So you sort of want to cover this as much. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is get my brush and just wipe away the white powder. And then I'm going to get... Ah! Oh my god, everything is falling. I'm gonna get my powder again and just mix it in with the white powder. Blend it in. I really don't know if this has helped. Right, I'm giving up with that. So for bronzer, I'm gonna use the Benefit Pretty in the USA. It comes in a kit and I'm gonna use the Benefit Hula Bronzer. You can buy this separately if you wanted. It's just a really good color. They also have it in Hula Light, but it's really, really good. Um, I'm just gonna use this fan brush so quick and easy I love it it's from Iconic and you just pop it all over with it and it takes so quick to do I feel like I now know what it's like to have eczema if anyone ever has eczema it's horrific obviously it's not the worst thing you can have obviously but waking yourself up at night itching and it bleeds is painful it really does hurt Ugh. Okay, I'm so sorry my base took so long to do. Hopefully I can cut as much of that down as possible. But I just talk and talk and talk. Let's take some of my foundation off my lips. It is now time for the best part. And I'm so excited to just play around with all of these different shades. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to wash my brushes after this because they're all gonna be blue. <laughs> But we will see what we can do. So I'm gonna go in with the transition color first and I'm gonna use the shade Butter. By the way, this is the only palette I'm gonna use. So I think it's a lot easier for you guys to get. I hate watching tutorials and I use like 100 different palettes, especially when they're a bit pricier and you're like, no. Um, and then I'm literally just gonna pop this in my crease as a transition. Same shade on my lower lash line too. I'm gonna use the shade Cream Cycle, is that what it's called? I don't know, I feel so awkward saying some names of palettes because I'm like, how have you made this so hard to say? Um, it's like a mustard color. If you search the palette online, I feel like it's easier for me just saying the names and you can see what color I'm using because it's quite a big palette and I'm like, ah. 
um, and I don't want to like spend ages doing that. So I'm just going to go over the top. This colour's a bit harder to work with than the others. It's not as pigmented. I think I've got to get in it. So it did take me a while to sort of build this colour up, but it's really, really pretty once, oh, I've just got black on me. Once you sort of build it up. I'm gonna use the shade Jada, which is that beautiful teal blue. It's the matte one, and I'm just gonna go. Oh my God, this is so pigmented. Over my crease. It's, it helps if you lift your eyebrows up because you don't want it to crease. And I'm just gonna sort of wipe away as I go because this is blue. I so should have done my eyes first, but we're risking it like so. And then we're going to go in with the first shade we used called Butter with your fluffy brush and just blend that in to your crease. So with a smaller brush and that same colour, I'm just going to use that on my lower lash line as close to it as possible. And then use your blending brush to blend it in. I'm then going to use the shade Enchanted, which is the dark green, and go over your outer V and then inside here. I'm going to join it up in the arc. And then just get your blending brush. Keep putting your blending brush in the shade Butter so it easily blends out. Can you see that? And wipe away any fallout as you go. I've just eaten lunch. I was so hungry when I was filming and I was like, I need to eat. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is get a brush like this. This is a smudging brush from the brush that I love. I'm gonna get a makeup wipe and just wipe all the excess product off. And it's also really, really good to wet it because it's gonna help the pigmentation of the shimmer color to come out more. So I'm gonna use the shade Diva. Oh, it's so pretty. I might mix it with Pool Party, but we're gonna see how it goes. And I'm gonna use it on a brush like this and then literally just pop it. Oh my God, I love. That's my phone. Oh my God, Bradley is the cutest. Oh, he's just sent me a picture of this. On his lunch break, he's gone shopping for dinner tonight. Oh my God. <laughs> So it's so much easier for you guys to follow the tutorial when there's one palette and I'm like, well, I'm mixing this shade and this shade and you know exactly what I'm doing. It's just a lot easier. This is super easy. You want to sort of find where your crease is. Do a little arch and then just fill in the middle like that. And then just lightly spread the shimmer shade each side. And then you can use your blending brushes back in a minute just to blend the colours in together. Oh my god, I'm literally obsessed. And then I'm going to use that teal colour. What is that? Jade. Jada? 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 I don't know what colour. I'm just sort of blending the shimmer shades with that. This is like the light teal blue. I'm going to mix the shades in light and beam together. And I'm going to use this in my tear duct and brow bone. So to line my lash line, I'm going to use the Rimmel Glamise Eyeliner. I love this, but it's running out, so I have to like shake it. And I literally just line my lash line. It's so easy. I'm not doing a wing or anything. You just want to line it like that. So easy. And then for mascara, I'm going to use the Benefit Bad Girl Bang. With this, you've got to be careful not to get any mascara on your eyeshadow. 
So for lashes, I thought I would try a different style. So my favorite brand for lashes are Backstage Lashes. I normally use the style Melrose Avenue, which look like that. But I feel like I want to do a bit longer, but kind of wispy. So I'm going to use the same Backstage ones in the style Date Night. And they look like I've just popped glue on them and I'm waiting for them to dry. But look, can you see? They look like that. They're really pretty. They're a lot more fluffier than Date Night. Not Date Night, Murray's Avenue. But they seem really long and like, oh. And I don't want to take too much attention away from the eyes with lashes. So I feel like these would work really well. So my tip for lashes, if your eyes, I always like, I, whatever lashes I use, I never trim down. I just feel like it makes my eyes bigger. But if your eyes are a lot smaller, what you can do is before you put glue on, measure how big the lash is compared to your eye and always snip off like a section of the lash. Can you see like a section like that from the outside? You don't want to cut from the inside because the inside's always smaller, tends to be. So always cut from the outside and just measure it on your eye and then pop glue on. The one I use is this one. If I'm honest, it's not the best glue. I really, really want to use the Duo one in black. Apparently that's amazing, but I haven't tried it. But this one's all right. I do tend to find myself throughout the day just adding a little bit more to my inner corners because it does lift a bit but the lashes I use have got a thick band so I think that's why but it's all right you just need to wait for it to go a bit tacky so I leave it on for about a minute and then you pop it on also I have a code for these lashes they come in loads of different styles they're so nice my code is amyrose10 and you can get some money off look how pretty they are i'm literally obsessed with them i love them especially with this look I feel like they go really nicely so for blush i'm going to use this one by pixie and it is in the shade beach rose looks like this it's a really pretty like peachy pink color just gonna pop that on and sort of blend it in with my bronzer Okay, for my highlighter, I'm gonna use this one from BH Cosmetics. Um, and it's called Spotlight Highlight Six Color Palette. I'm gonna mix the shade Dream and Radiance together and glow all three of these. Why not? Just lightly go in with that. That's so pretty. love and then don't forget your cupid's bow oh my god i so need to sort out all my drawers it's getting ridiculous now bit of a joke so for lip liner i'm gonna use my rimmel cappuccino i'm gonna use a different lip combo though guys this is just my perfect nude lip liner i have tried the mac spice i think if it was the color of this i would love it even more but it's a bit orangey for my everyday lip combo as you can see so that's spice oh i've just drawn a line of cappuccino on me and then that's cappuccino it's just my favorite oh my god look at my hand i'm getting muck everywhere it's just the best nude in my opinion but we're gonna change the lip combo up in my actual lips it's just to line them Okay, so lips are done. I have two from NYX that I really liked. This is the NYX lingerie lipstick in the shade Dusk to Dawn. I want to try this first. Oh my god, this is so watery. Probably out of date. Mm, and I'm going to mix it with the shade Silk Indulgent. It's the same. Whoa. I'm not going to do that nope so i just found this one it's from mac and it's the shade retro oh no kaffa kaffa cheek kaffa chic that's literally the same color as cappuccino uh... a stupid spot there it's so annoying my skin's just not my friend at the moment 
maybe I'll try Dusk to Dawn over the top. Just like in the middle. Just to lighten it up. I suppose that lightens it up a bit, doesn't it? Okay everyone, I'm now going to do my hair which I'm going to film for another video which you will see is going to be uploaded after this video, I think a day after, something like that, maybe a couple of days after, I'm not sure when I'm going to do the uploads yet. So I'm going to do my hair, curl it and then I'll be back. So I have just curled my hair, yay! I did film it like I did mention, it will be up on Saturday at 6pm so if you did want to know how to get this hair look and how I curl my hair products I use, all of that kind of stuff, then that'll be up on Saturday at 6 o'clock. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean so, so much to me. You can join the family. I love it so much. And also, if you click the little bell next to the subscribe button, you'll get notified on every single time I upload a YouTube video. And a little bleep will come on your phone. <laughs> and we can chat to the comment, chat to the comments chat in the comments i only tend to reply as soon as i upload a video because i'm like oh what's everyone saying what are their thoughts and then by that point i upload the next video so it's hard for me to like go back to all of them especially now because i'm uploading four videos a week so it's going to be a bit more but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this makeup look it's so nice to play around with color again i absolutely love it i feel like this makes my eyes look a lot lighter than they are and i love it i love this makeup look yay i'm so happy and i changed the lip combo up what is going on i'm like a new woman so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you've enjoyed it do give it a thumbs up like i said subscribe hit the little bell and i will see you guys on saturday for my hair tutorial on how i got this hair and don't forget i also have a video on sunday as well and monday it's just going to be like that every week. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.